Are you a current high school student going into college? A first year college student or simply curious about what college is like? Then this video is for you. Here are the main points I'm going to cover in this video. Everything I say is from my personal experience. I will be sharing my journey, insights, and tips to help you navigate college life. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Grab your drinks and have a seat. We're about to have a chat. I went to Taylor's College, which is in Malaysia, and I did my pre-U in Foundation Studies, an equivalent of the Cambridge A-levels. Friendships and social life. Let's start with friendships. Yes, they do take effort. Everyone is buried in a pile of workload and stuff from their own lives to worry about. But friendships matter, and college is nothing like high school. The people you've known in high school are completely someone else in college. That's just what the environment does to you. So in order to meet more people, you have to bring yourself to these networking events such as student nights, talks, and join clubs and societies. A lot of people in college find their friend groups in student clubs. Well, that's because it's easier to find people with the same interests as you. Also, if you're not much of an extrovert, over time college makes you one. But that also depends on you, if you're willing to put yourself out there and be seen. Even if you're shy, try and be approachable. That way, people are more likely to notice you. It does take practice if you're not used to making small talk with strangers, but you'll have a lot of time and you eventually get better. Let's take me for example. I am even more sociable now than I was back in high school. I never knew I was able to talk to people so easily. It's one of the things I learned about myself after coming to college. Unlike high school, people in college are much more friendlier. I had a month early jumpstart to my previous studies. We called this the Studied Right or SIR program for short in Taylor's. During this one month period, students from different programs met at the same lecture theater every day. We had games, inspirational talks, character building activities, and lots more. There were 150 to 200 of us. We practically knew each other way before the semester began. So I got lucky during this period because I met my now close friends from there. And I was very sociable that I met 100 people that month itself. And this includes seniors. They were actually really nice. When you meet people and really like them, you should make time to check in on them, hang out together, maybe get lunch sometime, and those are the beginning stages of forming friendships. I am really grateful for my friends because they were always there for me and all of them are super caring. I make time for them whenever I can and so we have lunch together, catch up in between lectures and during break times. It's always important to build strong and healthy friendships because in a new environment, you will need someone who supports you, especially when you're far away from home. You also need to pick your friends wisely. Friendships matter, yes, but choose them wisely. You don't want to end up with any sort of trouble. Because come on, college is where it all happens. Sometimes you can get sucked in all of the mess. Don't be afraid to say no. And most importantly, never feel pressured to do anything out of your comfort zone, especially if it feels wrong to you. Always trust your gut feelings. I read this thing a few days ago, gut feelings are your guardian angels. You want friends who are supportive, caring, positive. Classes and academics. Every week, we'd have four days of class and throughout three semesters. We only wouldn't have class either on a Monday or a Friday. As a foundation and computing student, I had to attend lectures, tutorials, and practical. Tutorial is classroom learning and practical is lab learning since we'll have to do some programming. I enjoyed every day that I was on campus. Whether it was stressful or hectic, I remembered how much I loved my college. And I'd get through with the workload. I still don't understand why or how. Try romanticizing your college or uni. Make it interesting. Look forward to your classes and routine every day. Okay, getting back on track. Let me talk about my favorite course and professor. Well, this one's pretty easy. In my course, we had a lecturer who would teach us across all three semesters, each semester a different subject. She knew most of us very well. I like her because she was so patient, kind, and encouraging. Every other lecturer was great too. I think it's just that having someone for the entire period of the program teach you feels more familiar. The course that I loved the most was Creative and Critical Thinking Skills, or CCTS as we call it. One of our tasks was to create a strategic country and make sure every sector such as agricultural, residential, industrial and so on were well placed on a map that we had to create. Now I'm not a computer person, 
I'm more to arts, but I chose this course because of my interest in artificial intelligence and how wide it spans. So when I had the opportunity to do something creative, I was all in. Day and night, I was editing and designing, mostly spending all of my time in the library. Because yes, this module was a handful. The amount of work we did made me completely hate editing. Because we had to create a few prototypes and redo them if something was wrong. We had 19 infographic pages to design in two months. It sounds easy, trust me it wasn't. I remember telling my friends that I love editing so much, but now I hate it because it was frustrating to do the same thing every day. I was focusing on CCTS more than I did my other module, to the point I started seeing the map I drew, the map of Norway, in the shape of clouds. It was borderline traumatic, just kidding. But I honestly miss CCTS right now, since I was at my most productive during that period of time and definitely learned a lot about time management. My advice to stay on top of assignments is to have all the assignments and their due dates written down to keep track of. I keep mine on Notion, I check it off once it's done and start working on the next. It actually helps when you know and get it done in advance because then if something is wrong, you'll still have time to clarify with your lecturer and make sure it's well done. I suggest you get it done at least a week before its due date or two weeks before if you're able to because I get that you'll have other modules to work on as well. Keep track of your presentation, exam and test dates. I keep track of mine on the same page as my assignments that way I don't have to go looking at another page. I can see all the dates lined up in the order of priority so that I know what comes up next and when to focus on what. Organizing your work also helps you with time management. You'll be able to divide time for family, friends and education. The libraries will become your best friend. I have spent countless amounts of days in the library. It's something about the vibe there where everyone is so focused where you also get sucked into your workload. About 85% of the time when I was done with tutorials or lectures, you'll find me in the library. Trust me, libraries work. Or if you're looking for cafes, that is also a good option. Although I personally think they're a little bit too noisy for me to focus 100%. Now, group projects and teammates. I know we all have been through this. Having an uncooperative team member needs to be an issue you address. You could try and talk it out with them. You could say, hey, we're doing this and this, it would be great if you could do X, Y, Z. And if they happen to protest for whatever reason, you could explain to them what they would need to do so they're not totally blah. But if they're still like, hey, you can tell me whatever you want, I'm still not doing it. You need to take action and honestly, what's the worst that could happen? They'll have beef with you? Okay, fine. But you're not gonna let anyone make use of you or your time. Your time is precious, bro. A group work is a group work for a reason. Well, in my case, I got lucky, again. My friends and I always stuck to our group throughout each semester for all the modules. If not always, then mostly. And I'm so grateful they knew what they were doing. Each one of them had potential, so I had no worries about our project. Of course, there were times when either one of us would take on most of the work or the toughest part of the project, but this happened each semester. And I believe all of us got a fair share of work done when it comes to the projects we worked on. For example, I was a video editor and director for three sams for projects and editing videos are not easy, especially when it's more than 10 minutes and you have to line up the audio recordings accordingly. It was quite the work, but hey, I did it and it was not bad. It all turns out fine in the end, you definitely have to pick out your teammates well. Here, you bring in your evaluating skills. You gotta make sure all the members are willing to produce something that is worth the time and energy. You should know who is good at what and allocate the tasks accordingly. That's how you get it done. It all comes down to strategic planning. Yep, if you want the grades, everything has gotta be strategic. It is the key to taking on college or simply life, dorm life. I lived at home, though I do have many friends who live in a student accommodation, so I believe I can give you guys some input here. Try and make your room as comfy as possible. It would be idealistic to make it feel like your room at home, so definitely bring along some stuff to decorate your room with. Sometimes, when you go back to your room after class, the only thing you'll feel like doing is taking a nap, which could turn into hours. Instead, you could have used those time to actually revise. Honestly, even I have felt tired as soon as I arrived home, like I had some kind of switch that would automatically turn on when I got back from college. Which is why I spend my time studying in the library, because if I stayed on campus longer, I wouldn't feel sleepy and would be productive as I should. I strongly suggest you do the same if you're going through this as well. Just stay on campus a little longer and get some work done. This definitely helps. Extracurricular activities. It is super fun to join clubs. For me, they were hella fun and tiring. I joined the Bollywood Dance Club because I love dancing so much. 
we did Bhangra for most of the time and if you've done Bhangra, you'll know it takes a lot of energy and practicing it is tiring. On top of that, I go to college at 8 a.m., half class till 4 or so, and I'd stay back on campus till 10 p.m. because dance practices are from 7 to 10 p.m and twice a week. So yeah, I'd be pretty much half dead when I get back home. Sometimes when we have upcoming performances, we'd have to stay back at the same time every day for one week to practice. But I enjoyed it even though it was quite much. I've made friends from many different countries, India, France, Maldives, Bangladesh and more. They were really nice and friendly. As I've told you before, a lot of people who join clubs and societies meet their friends for the rest of the college year there. It's pretty easy to find people you can easily click with, you know. As for me, I didn't stay in the dance club for that long because I personally chose to focus more on my academics. For you guys, if you are great at handling your academics while being active in a club, I'd say why not? Go for it. Make the most out of your time and have fun. I just felt that I wanted to be more indulged in my academics like I didn't feel the need to join clubs, at least for this year. Plus, I wanted to use that time to do something else instead. Finances. Now, when it comes to finances, as a college student or not, you need to know how much money comes in and goes out. You need to keep track of them. It's very important so that you don't always spend and have enough savings. I would suggest if you're a working student, try and save at least 10%. 10% is very easy. It's not much. It would do great. And in the long run, you will have quite enough money saved and that is only the bare minimum. If you could go higher than 10%, then it's better for you. This also applies when you enter the workforce. 10% is the minimum, the bare minimum. Try to save at least 10% of your salary. That way you'll have a good amount of savings. This also works if you're getting allowances from your parents. Again, I keep track of all of my finances on Notion, each page dedicated to a different month. So when I have a specific amount set for that month alone, I make sure I don't go over the limit. I record all my expenses on a weekly basis and I would also categorize them to know where I'm spending most of my money on. Then it would be easy to cut down on that specific category. Say for example, if I have spent more than I should this month, then the next month I would try to save that extra amount of money so that I keep my expenses within the limit, if you get what I mean. This happens depending on different situations. Another thing is you need to be disciplined with your finances. If you're going to spend for your wants, allocate a certain amount of money set for that alone and don't go over the budget. To sum it all up, I had a great time in college. I have learned and grown so much from my college experience. I'm so grateful for all of the opportunities I have been given and for the friendships I've made. College is really fun. Don't take everything seriously, except for your studies. Just live life and have fun. Make your time in college worthwhile. That is all guys, we have reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and found this helpful. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. This is my first time filming a sit down video. Everything I have shared is from my authentic and personal experience. I hope they're valuable to you guys, especially for those about to start college soon. I wish you all the luck. Thank you for watching this far. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.